water infiltration, and on-the-land water storage. My name is Joanne Harbinson, Manager of Water Resources and Stewardship Services for Saugeen Valley Conservation. The water cycle is the most important natural phenomenon in the world. The water is the most crucial link to life wherever you live. What happens upstream will most likely impact someone downstream. Imagine a world with no grass, no trees, only pavement, concrete, and buildings. Hardening of surfaces increases runoff over the landscape. Where will the water go? We need water to seep into the ground, infiltrate into the grass, the soil, feed our wetlands, upwell into our streams, and reach our groundwater aquifers. We need to allow water to be stored in wetlands and other water storage features, creating sponge areas to treat and slowly release the water. This water sustains our ecosystem. Infiltration is an important component of natural water cycle. This keeps our ecosystem functioning, balanced, healthy, supports the groundwater system, and reduces excessive runoff to the surface water body. Increasing impermeable surfaces will increase runoff, resulting in an increased erosion and water quality impairment, while depriving our groundwater aquifers to recharge. Water infiltration is very important on the landscape, whether in the rural areas or within an urban environment. Making pathways for water to infiltrate, regardless of the land use, should be achieved. Problems arise such as an increase in flooding, erosion, and degrading water quality as water volumes increase and the speed of runoff increase in flow paths. Infiltration in the water cycle is a very important part of the whole, and we need to take and make the opportunities to allow water to infiltrate into the soil, natural areas, or the overburden, so as to avoid impairment to our ecosystems. <laughs>